Container gardens are becoming very popular with folks who don't want to tend to a large space. Expert gardener John Henning with Dundee Nursery shows us how to plant herbs and tomatoes in a container. Reporter Sonia Goins goes in the garden with more. There's some English thyme, there's a little bit of tarragon, and I have the standard basil. Now for the planting. They're very simple. Choosing the right soil is key to helping your potted plants to grow. This is a very light soil. Vegetable and herb plants vary in the amount of space they require. Give yourself a little room for the, the plants to come into and a little bit of room so that you, when you water it doesn't flow over the top. You can use this technique to revive the root system. I always break up the, the root system a little bit just so they don't keep going around in circles, but just squeeze them a little bit, give them a little room. Make a little room in there for them. Add a little more soil around it. Henning also recommends cutting off the top of the herbs when you first plant. He says doing this will encourage more growth and it will help the roots to expand better. This particular plant, just take a scissors and snip them off. However, you'll have to use a different technique when it comes to planting tomatoes in a container. I wouldn't cut the top part off on it, but as far as planting it, you still break up the root system. I would take the lower branches off of them. Like that. Um, and then when you plant it, plant it about this deep versus planting it at level with soil, but plant it deeper. Tomatoes will root out better up here and then they'll strengthen your stems better. Henning says practically anyone can grow a container garden. Very simple. In Plymouth, Sonia Goins, CCX News. The gardening expert recommends checking container gardens every day to see if the plants need watering. Potted plants require more watering than plants that grow directly in the garden.